Hi everybody, this is Ocarina. I am on the test server and the new Moonlight enchantment items have hit the test server. There are 52 new items um, total and there are 18, count them, 18 new ones in the zone um, enchant enchanted uh, Ziggo mid or whatever. I'm not good at pronouncing any of these. I looked at some of these names. I'm going to butcher them. Okay, let's get going because there's a lot of items to preview. I'm going to just start in this quarter, corner. They're not in alphabetical order. Kylie Siri Crystal. I love it. It's a really cool crystal. So minimum size, it's about waist height and a, a smallest possible dark elf. Maximum size is... Um, not quite to the ceil- oops, I'm twirling around. Not quite to the ceiling, and I cannot walk through it. Checking the bottom for you guys, it does have a solid bottom, so if you don't like the top, you can flip it over or whatever. Well, not that you won't like the top, but if you have- if you need a flat surface, I, is what I should say. Um, I think all these items- stack I'm not quite sure because I'm not sure if this is a plushie or not I don't know. it is because the name of it okay so they should all stack I'm not sure if they stack to 200 or whatever they're supposed to stack to you um okay so cayenne knight crystal formation I know I said that wrong very cool crystal so why am I flipping around like that so minimum size, it's about um, not quite waist height for the top of the crystal. The rock's like knee height. Um, cannot walk through it. And it doesn't, it's like halfway up to the ceiling maybe. And it's very wide. Alright. And the bottom of it is doo -doo -doo, solid. It kind of pokes down a little bit. Okay. Um, Moving it down. This item is, so we got three crystals it looks like. The, the bluish one, or darker green one I, I should say. I think, I think it's darker green. Gleaming Tide crystal. This one is the lighter green. Adventure Teen uh, Terrain crystal. And this one that's purple is called Amethyst Crystal. All right, so you cannot walk through any of these. I'm guessing all three scale the same way. So I'm gonna show you the um, minimum. It's like my height. The maximum is almost touching the ceiling. I'm gonna shrink her down and show you the bottom. It is not a solid bottom, so you cannot flip it over at all. Um, I'm guessing the other ones are the same. Let me quick check the bottoms of them. Yep, that you, not a solid bottom. Not a solid bottom. So, plan accordingly. Let's see if they'll let me move it down over here. I'm just trying to get everything out of the way because everything's so big. Big, big, big boys. All right. Arcane stone. I love it. I love all these new stones. I love the coloration of these. So let's move it. It is at minimum about, um, not, well, it's just over knee height. You cannot walk through it. Maximum is big. So I, you can walk out of it if you're accidentally stuck in it, but you can't walk through it otherwise. So let me pull it away from that wall a little bit. So it's almost the width of this room. It's really tall. It's about half the height of this room. It is gorgeous. You don't sink through, which is awesome. Gorgeous rock. I love it. Now the last thing is to find out if the bottom has stuff on it or not. So raising it up, ooh, yay, it's solid. So it actually has quite a bit of rock that sunk into the ground. So very cool. 
you can flip it around and so it looks like you have lots of rocks if you flip it like four different ways four rocks in one all right at least that's what i do i flip them around all right dark arcane stone it's more grayish with a little bit of uh cyan through it um love i i totally told you what it's called already duh all right so it looks like it's about the same size as the other stone rock that I showed you. Um, and yeah, it's, it is solid. It's just, um, I was inside it again and it is not quite the room width, but pretty close, about half the height. So it scales about the same as this other one. So I'm assuming that it will have a solid bottom as well. Let's lift her up. And again, it sticks down into the ground a little bit. So very cool. Maybe, you know, they both kind of have like a crack and stuff. They might be the same rock, just colored different, which is totally cool and fine. Um, saves them a lot of work. So I'm guessing, yeah, yeah, like all three of these are the same shape just different colors so oh we do have this this tan one so let's cover that one sandstone rock so it's scale i'm guessing it scales exactly the same as these other two because it has the same shape and again it does go into the ground solid very cool all right say that will save us some time so i'm guessing these are all this one's dark arcane boulder. This one is arcane boulder, and I'm guessing this is sandstone boulder. Yep. So um, I will show you how these scale. This one, you know, it's almost shoulder height. Um, let's see how big it gets. So, yeah, if you keep it in the ground, it's about three-fourths the way to the ceiling. It's almost the same width of the room. And I'm guessing it is solid, yes. So there is rock that sticks out at the bottom. And I'm going to set her there. So I'm not going to scale these or anything. I'm guessing that, that they're exactly the same. They just recolored them. So they'll behave exactly the same. So that saves us some time. All right, so let's get to, let's do the plushie. So this little plushie is called Mossy Defender Plushie. He's kind of cool. Um, I know my uh, conjurer would love to have this as a house item since her pets kind of look like that, rock dudes. So about, the minimum is like about knee height. I can walk through him. He is a plushie, so don't worry about him falling down when you zone it. Um, he's taller than me, so my head's almost about waist, you know, belt height, if he was wearing pants with a belt. <laughs> Very cool. All right. And, um, I'm, I'm sure he's probably solid on the bottom. Um, I can lift him up really quick, though. Yeah, he's solid. So. All right. So let's get into the shroom. All right, <laughs> this one kind of looks like, <coughs> excuse me, hold on a second. <coughs> Sorry, allergy season and all that. This looks a lot like a mushroom we already have. Maybe more red on the, the top. It might be like tilted a little bit. I don't remember it being that black on the bottom. So it's slightly different in color. I need to show you the name of it. Dying Thlumbra Mushroom. So, um, not quite, um, waist height, but it's over my knee height and maximum size is huge. So almost touching the ceiling. So really good size. I'm going to sh kind of shrink them down a little bit. I'm going to lift her up and it is not solid completely. So, um, just keep that in mind. So I'm going to move this guy over here out of the way by the crystals. Oh, I like the bottom. That's cool. All right. 
Now this one is called um, Chrysogena fungus. It is similar to one that we already have, but it's more tan. I think the other one, where'd he go? Um, is more purplish maybe? I don't know, it is, it, it is different color wise. Or maybe the other one's more yellow with spots on it. I can't remember. But it's knee height at its minimum. It is about twice my height at maximum. And let's raise her up. Not solid on the bottom. I'm guessing these other mushrooms are going to be the same way. But we'll check them. Um, shrinking it down and moving it out of the way. All right, so there are four mushrooms that are basically the same except for the color. So this first yellowish orange one is called golden flumbra mushroom, and it has yellowish um, dangly things um, that light up. Um, it looks like the spots on the bottom light up too cool. This purplish orange one is as azure, azure, azure. Flumbra mushroom. I, th I think that's how you pronounce that word. <coughs> I don't know. My brain is not working. I'm typing stuff wrong all the time. Crimson flumbra mushroom is um, this orangish red one. Um, very cool. And then this one is called emerald flumbra mushroom. And it's more green and orange. So very cool. I'm going to lift it up at default size. Uh, so all of them will be kind of hollow at the bottom, so not solid. And let's shrink her down and set on the ground. So you can see the height. So about um, halfway to, well, it's halfway between my knees and my hip and at the minimum. And maximum is pretty much touching the ceiling. Very close. It might even be going up a little bit above the ceiling. No, it's just touching. So, um, gets really huge. Cannot walk through it. Very beautiful on, on the underside. With the little lights dangling down. Very cool. Love all the new items. I will do one big grand video as well. Thanks for watching, guys.